Hey everybody, Pastor Andy here, and Pastor Bilbo, of course, bringing another daily devotion. Bilbo, do you have anything you'd like to share with the good folks out there on the internet? Do you want to look at them? There, you looked at them. Look at them again. Uh, uh, you know, it's hard to connect. So hard to connect the last uh, few months. Has it been months? Man, what day is it? I don't even know. Anyway, bringing another daily devotion to you. Now that we've uh, finished working our way through the Gospels and the Passion and Resurrection stories, I thought I'd bring just a few messages uh, about longing to connect with people when we're apart. Because Scripture is no stranger to being separated from those that we are close to, those we love, those that we so desperately want to see, right? It's not the same to to text, to chat, to call, to FaceTime or Zoom or Google Hangout or whatever you use, right? There's something about the presence of other people that is particularly special. And we used the phrase uh, a while ago, incarnational distance, right? There's something special about being physically present with someone else. Bilbo keeps trying to leave the screen, and I'm going to keep chasing him down today because we're talking about being present with each other. As much as he might not want to be seen, he is going to be. So I'm going to be reading to you a little passage here uh, by the Apostle Paul in the letter to the Romans, chapter 1. This is right after Paul gives an opening greeting saying who he is and who he's writing to and blessings. He says, uh, verse 8, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, because your faith is being reported all over the world. God, whom I serve in my spirit in preaching the gospel of his Son, is my witness how I constantly remember you in my prayers at all times. And I pray that now at last, by God's will, the way may be opened for me to come to you. I long to see you so that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to make you strong. That is, that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that I planned many times to come to you, but have been prevented from doing so until now, in order that I might have a harvest among you, just as I have had among the other Gentiles. So the context, of course, here is that uh, the Apostle Paul is on his missionary journeys and frequently finds himself, uh, his plans aren't always up to him. Uh, he gets caught up. Um, he ends up staying for months, weeks, years uh, in certain places where he God has extra work for him to do. Other times he's put in prison, and of course he can't uh, he, he can't plan his own schedule when you're in prison. You have no idea what's happening. Uh, sometimes he's on house arrest. Sometimes he's being shipwrecked. You just don't know with Paul. You just don't know with God where your path is going to take you. But we find in this letter, you know, this expression of longing. Um, he's so thankful for the presence of, of the churches in Rome in his life, even from a distance, right? In his letters, he's saying, how thankful I am for you because I'm hearing rumors about what you're doing. I love it when I hear rumors about what faithful people that I know and love are doing. Um, it's inspiring, right? Especially when it's people I know. Like, isn't that great when when you hear that people that you love are doing good things. That, that is an amazing feeling. Uh, Paul is praying. I hope we're praying for one another, just as Paul prayed for the churches in Rome. And now he's hoping that maybe, maybe God is opening up a way for him to come and visit in person. Uh, he says, I long to see you that he might impart some spiritual gift to make you strong. Uh, there's something special, again, about being in person with other people. We give each other from our own spirits, and we encourage one another in that way. Uh, he, he says that, uh, I do not want you to be unaware that I plan many times to come, but have been prevented from doing so, right? Uh, none of us plan for this time when we're stuck at home, we're stuck wearing masks and, and being apart from one another, and some of us are responding more rebelliously than others, right? But the key thing is we are not meant to live for ourselves. We're meant to live for others. We're meant to consider the needs of others before our own. 
rights or freedoms or privileges. Paul is uh, content to wait on God's planning. His primary concern is that he would be of use to God wherever he is. So wherever you are, how can you be of use to God, even as we long for this time to be over? Bilbo is a constant encouragement to me. I hope that I'm a constant comfort to him. He is the expert minister of encouragement and inspiration, as I'm sure you have seen. May we be so for one another. God bless, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.